We first brought you Duncan Fowler's story right here on Fox 5 last week. Fowler was away on a year-long deployment when he learned people were living inside his Decatur home. And now he's been able to get inside his home, but he won't be staying there for very long. Fox 5's Janice Yu has the story. Well, the squatters are gone from this house, but they left quite the mess behind. I mean, there's trash all over strewn about downstairs as well as upstairs. They damaged appliances and other property. Now, Fowler says this property is just not livable at this point. So this is the, the front door to this, what used to be a lovely home to live in. After more than a year long deployment, Duncan Fowler returned to his Decatur home, but the house has seen better days. Um, they left all sorts of Kitchenware, food, um, looks like they tried to fight my oven, it didn't work out for them. The fridge is filled with some very nasty, moldy items. When we spoke to Fowler last week, he was finishing up his deployment. He told us squatters had moved into his house in his absence. He was told he'd have to go through an eviction proceeding to remove the people from his home. I failed to see how this isn't trespassing or breaking and entering. I mean, the fact that squatters rights even exist is just a disgrace, really. Fowler says he came to the house on Thursday. Unsure of what to expect, he says he parked a distance away from the house, and that's when he had an interesting interaction. A lady drove by with another female in there and said, hey, you know, are you the homeowner? I said, yes, and she said, do you want your keys back? I said, yes, I would like my effing keys to my house back. He says they left. They didn't leave the key, but they did leave a house full of trash, food, unknown liquids and items, and even a washing machine full of clothes. Fowler says the squatters will be arrested if they return to his property. He's working with his insurance company to assess the damages, and he's looking into possibly pressing charges. I think it's just unfortunate that, you know, people can find themselves in situations like this when, you know, you've got the side of the convicted felon 10 times over that is very obviously doing something illegal and immoral, and you got the law-abiding homeowner that's just trying to go on with their life. For the time being, Fowler says he's staying at a nearby hotel until he can get this mess cleaned up and figure all of this out. Indicator, Janice Yu, Fox 5 News. What's considered squatters' rights actually falls under a state statute called adverse possession. Basically, it allows somebody to gain ownership of another person's property by living there uninterrupted for 20 years. But until that happens, squatters who take up residence in an unoccupied house and claim they have a right to be there cannot be forcibly removed. The owner or landlord has to go through the eviction process since squatting is considered a civil matter under Georgia law.